Hello, everybody. It's Vertical Sandwich. We are on the second floor. Whoa, I'm sorry. We are on the second floor of Climatrol. Uh, so welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 2. Uh, okay. All right, okay. Not a big deal. Just some scalies. We can deal with it. Or not. Okay. Um. Oh, let's just run with it. If he dies, he dies. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, good deal. So. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, I think what we want to do is this. Uh, yeah. And... We'll run with that. For now, anyway. Ugh. Whoa, hey! Rotwood? I don't... We haven't had to deal with these guys. Hopefully they're as easy to damage as their lunkhead brothers. And they are. Oh, they're actually a weaker version of the ones we fought on the island. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so this is floor three, then. And, uh, yeah. So here's floor four. So theoretically, this should be floor five. But apparently is not. And we don't fall when we fall down, so we are heading up. We must be really far underwater, because if we fall down that hole... Now, okay, this is, uh, the center of floor five. So, um... Northwest area of the floor, take the chute that is situated near the middle of the north wall. Okay. I see. Uh, okay. So now apparently we're at floor seven. So, walk south through the open area. Take the nor narrow corridor leading east. When it branches to the south, head south. Okay. Fair enough. Uh-oh. All right. So, uh, I believe it is time to try mate our champion. Um, okay. Alright, so we go this way, and now optionally we blah blah blah. Um, just a second. We need to walk south along this pit. Apparently. Alright, there we go. And straight west. This is actually really easy. We're almost there. Which is awesome. Uh, 
Okay, so this is the last floor of Climatrol. Right here. Now there are a bunch of these things, and it's the middle one we want. So, a one, two... It's gotta be this one, huh? Oh! Hey! There's a person there! Okay, we have to use... We have to use this thing. We've never used it. Making contact with data memory. Welcome to data memory. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, yes, please. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so, uh, really quickly. Yeah, you know what? We actually kind of have to do this. And... Alright, so, here we go. What's this? She looks just like me! I am me first. I was born two years ago. I'm the product of a biosystems experiment combining humans with animals. The people felt the experiment was a failure and thus tried to kill me. But I escaped and stole DNA data from the biosystem. I've created monsters to wreak revenge on the people who so carelessly and selfish selfishly played with life. But there's another knee within me, and knee was trying to stop me. It can't be. You don't mean... Yes, this is the one that you called knee. The one you think is a friend is a monster who despises all people. No, I don't hate humans, said Nii. I separated from Nii first because it was so terrible in her. Of course, it is terrible to be born a monster, but I couldn't stand by while you tried to get revenge by creating monsters. Fool, you say such things, but you are powerless to stop me. Just try it. And we get to, like, no, I guess. Nii stood with her head down. It didn't move since Nii and Nii first were originally both part of the same body. Killing Nii first would mean the end of Nii also. Okay, well, whatever. Okay. So I guess we, we should probably say yes. So they are the same person. I don't want you to make any more monsters, you understand? Alright, so now we have to fight me first with only me. Um, we're just gonna do that. It's a futile a fight. Like, without a doubt. That's not the issue, because... Any damage you do to her, it gets healed anyway. Once she actually kills me. Yeah, it is theoretically possible to kill me first with me. But that's not gonna be okay. Me, hold on. There's no hope left for me. Please, TVS, don't let them ever repeat the mistake they made when they made me. I hope everyone on Algo can find happiness in their new life. After saying this, knee died. TVS laid Nii's lifeless body gently on the ground. Ni, we will avenge you! Uh, we won't actually have to. Um, because, uh, yeah. Well. Uh, we should be able to bring her back to life, actually. Um, so, uh, I think what we will do is, I need the big damage. Um, Nafoy, apparently. Uh, okay. We'll see if this works. That certainly did a lot of... There we go! We got her back! <laughs> like, it's ridiculous how easy that was. Okay. We're gonna see where we're... Uh, I actually want her to do, there we go, hopefully that'll work. Oh crap, well we don't really have a lot of options at this point. Hopefully she doesn't kill my main character.
All right, uh, let's have Amy uh, use a try me on TBS. And, uh, yeah, hopefully. Whoa! That's ridiculous. Okay. Um. We do have an awful lot of trimates. Crap! Oh wait, did that not do anything? Holy crap! <laughs> now I don't know. Okay, here's the thing. Killing me first in the battle with me is possible. You can see it. There are at least two videos of it on YouTube. Uh, it does cause a cutscene where me explains that she must die. Uh, we're going to see if that happens now. Yes. TBS calls Nii's name once again, but his plaintive cry merely echoes and re-echoes. Oh, no. there's The weather control system is shaking terrifically. Now he first is dead. There's no one controlling it. All the pent-up energy is pouring into the system. So we destroyed Climatrol. Which is perfectly fine with me. Okay, here. That's very 16-bit. Uh, it's very Biotic Commando. But now the lake is filled. Apparently that's Climatrol. So the basement takes us underneath that. What has happened? TVS and the others quickly decide to return to Paseo. And we automatically go to the clone lab. Welcome to the clone labs. Who would you like to have return to you? Ah, the one called Ni. I'm sorry, but we really aren't able to return people who aren't human. It just a we've done it before! It just doesn't work. Just about Paseo is a plateau. Why not put her to rest up there? Don't be sad, everyone must die sometime. Your friend led a full life. I disagree! I mean, she led a f She was only nine months old! <laughs> like, come on! And I loved her. Something's wrong. Oh my gosh, the lake is overflowing. There must have been an accident in Climatrol. You didn't destroy me first, did you? <laughs> All of the rain supplies floated to the lake. Mona is going to flood. Run for your lives. It's a catastrophe. All right. End of apostrophe. TBS, once again, there's a serious problem. Just when we were feeling relieved that those monsters have been taken care of. This happened, we could avoid the worst case if the dams could be open, but there's no control. Someone must go there and open them. Please, let me do it. Well, but I'm sorry to say this, but the government of Palm has announced your name as the ones who made Mother Brain go crazy. Right now, the security system is desperately trying to catch you guys. It is too dangerous to do anything that stands out. But even if we stay inside and hold our breath, they will find us sooner or later. I'd rather go and open those dams. I want to find out who's trying to destroy Moda. I see. I won't say anymore. Take care of yourselves. All right. Uh, Nii's dead. We can't bring her back. Um, welcome to Final Fantasy VII, like, six years before it was made. Um, uh, we put, she put a lot of money into all of her items are gone, by the way. So, I should have mentioned this before. Don't give her the Visophone, because you can't. Or, I, well, I don't know about the, the gum. Man, we have a lot of trimates. So now we have to figure out who to take with us. Um, at this point, I don't really care. Uh, you know, my best friend is, well, yeah. I loved her! Um, I thought that was plain. I thought it was obvious that, like, the way that this was going to work was that that was going to be a romance. But apparently, not at all. Not at all! They just murdered something we loved. And apparently that's fine. I mean, I guess she went out and got strong enough to... I don't know. Um, I'm going to say, I'll probably make it a point to save the save file before we fight Nii first and see if possibly I can grind Nii up to the point that it would make s Like, that she might be able to kill Nii first all by herself. But I actually, th I think you should probably just not count on that and go look at a, a YouTube video of it. There, I, Like I said, there are at least two. Of knee beating knee first. It essentially just takes a lot of overleveling and a lot of trimates. Um, she only has like 1,100 hit points. So it really takes 
about 11 attacks, 12 attacks with me. So, uh, when we come back, we will be replacing the Irreplaceable. And uh, continuing on our adventure. You guys take care. And a uh, moment of silence for our fallen comrade. How long has it been? Only six seconds. All right. Well, bye, everybody.